Hello. It is I, the alien troop. This is for like drawing. Like yesterday I realized I haven't drew Dragonite Pat in like two months. I know it's like almost everybody's favorite. I'm like it's so festive. Just have this silly idea. I'm trying in, trying in. With a pumpkin shirt. Gonna be very round. Should have seen. Like, I had a weird day, but like a good one. Um, well, first of all, they are renewing, like, renovating. The metro stations here or something around those lines so they are selling the old stuff the old like metro station stuff like signs seats i haven't advertised on tumblr jeez okay need to go on tumblr i'll put the be right back screen just in why is it there you go better i'm still here it's just i don't want i don't like Showing my files, so like I put the be right back screen. I think it's pretty adorable. You like it? For a bit. Post this shit. At the same time, I will save this picture. Don't want you to see disturbing shit. Pumpkin pot. And we are back. I usually don't like drawing those kind of stuff on stream, but I felt like it. And I, I mostly promised myself that if I'm going to draw on stream, it mostly have to be uh, my personal art. Mostly. I know I recorded some commissions earlier also. Not today, but I mean... You know what I'm getting at. And Dragonite Path is a cutie. I think if I decided to make a Dragonite Path actually Slim. Oh man, you know what? I won't say anything because I, I know exactly. I'm gonna take notes of this and probably do something with that idea later. That people will hate me for it. <coughs> yeah. So yeah, to come back into my story, they are renovating some metro station in Montreal right now. So instead of getting rid of uh, the old material, the old like uh, chairs and stuff like that, signs, maps, they are putting on sales, I think. So it's like a big uh, flea market. We went there, me and Mr. Bear, uh, this morning around 10.40. To make sure like we come early because i think the door opened at they opened at 10. so we wanted to be like kind of there as they are opening the door but not too much we were like oh you know it's sunday nobody cares it's sunday that's picking up mr bear back hi everybody oh shoot. You made yourself for like a Reese tea. Yeah, and I 
made it in a to-go cup. Oh really? You didn't bring it? Didn't take it to go. <laughs> You're a silly butt. Uh, oh well. I was telling about the uh, the flea, the Montreal flea market. <laughs> oh, the uh, STM garage sale. Yeah, the STM garage sale. The système de transport de Montréal. That was like a freaking two kilometer line. We we're two expecting that. Two kilometer line. I cannot believe that. And all hipsters. All hipsters. All hipsters. No all exception. Hipsters. Then like talking with somebody outside? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna be going outside. I gotta do some work. I do. We have work to do today. Yeah. I gotta go make us some arms. So instead of going and wait for a line that will never disappear, we decided to uh, go to a. Uh, uh, it's called a Jean Talon market, which is basically a market that it's mostly outside. You walk there and there's like some farmers that just like, hey, what's up? Like, we have vegetable to sell here. So you buy like stuff fresh from uh, the farm. But at this market, it's a big market. It's very nice. I saw at Verona they had these wooden crates that we could put our hat and gloves into be on top of the shelf there, you know? Ooh. Indeed. That would be a subject for another time. Making me look like a freaking pleb in front of people that are watching my videos. I'm sorry. It's fine. I bought myself some pumpkins. I bought like five pumpkins and Mr. Bear wanted to buy like one weird pumpkin. Forgot the name. Mirabella. Or honey something. No, you don't want to. <laughs> we'll, get the, we'll get the book, the book on squashes. Yeah, yeah. The squash book. They were weird and deformed, so we were like, hey, you know what? Let's buy them. We want to cook with more squash. God damn it. Matt, why are you, Mr. Bear? What's going on now? I forgot. You're a virgin. This at my work. I don't know, what are those? It's the Wires? Thing. It's no, it's a, uh, it's a special filler that you use for the screens. Oh. And I forgot it at work. Oh, this. Well. It's probably the most entertaining drawing stream I've ever done. <laughs> so like, we went to the Gentile Market, we bought five pumpkins with two like squashes, like this deformed pumpkins, I don't know the name really. Then after that we decided to go to this Halloween party thingy place, for those who are there on Twitter. And I've seen like my rabbit thing, the rabbit coming out of the, the hat and it's so creepy that it's from that place. We went there. Gonna be okay, Mr. Bear? Yeah, I can do one because I have enough for one. How many you have to do? Uh, six. 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 Usually I'm in the mood to put Halloween music, not, not really today. I feel like I always put it on stream, a lot of it, Dance with the Dead, Hollywood Burns. So I'm like, let's take a break for today and listen to other stuff I used to put on stream. Even though like I still have the Halloween's parrot in me. I bought it, oh yeah, so like 
we went to this place and I bought uh, more Halloween decoration for my desk. <laughs> so basically I got a Cerberus and a Piranha Skeleton. Skeleton. Very rad. Well, as I was buying the Cerberus, I realized they actually put balls on it. Like my Cerberus figurine. I don't know, it's, it's plastic, but it's kind of squishy. I don't know. As I was buying it, we, me and Bear realized that he put the, they have balls. Hello again. Sure, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Have to draw. It's the time to be spooky. Exactly, Mr. Zero Tings. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I don't have much to talk about. I just felt like drawing and recording, and since my public is pretty little, I was like, eh, let's stream it. We never know. I try to keep like two streams a week and try I mean by trying I'm like I'm not that great at keeping promises when it's time for internet things I mean outside yes I'm good for that but this is what like, I don't want to be I'll be streaming this day and this day around this time and this time and it will be simpler for a lot of people but I just can't do that because my life is such like a cluss a cluss clusterfuck of people asking me to do stuff for them and sometimes it's like I don't feel like streaming but I feel like drawing commissions so instead of like streaming I do commissions so there's a lot there's a lot in my mind who are like oh I'm like oh yeah I need to speak with my family so like I try to keep two streams a week even though like it's pretty hard for me to keep keep doing that So many things. Not, not that I don't want to, like, you know, I could... I could try. <laughs> I try, I mean, I'm trying, but... Anyway. I'm mostly doing it for fun. I'm not making a living or anything. I think I drew Dragon Might Pet too large for the picture. Put a drawing with the picture, whatever. There's so much. Like, I'm actually glad that people enjoy watching me draw. I got comments like it's relaxing. I got other comments that uh, they like hearing about my stories. But it's very appreciated. Freaking sucks, I was supposed to be on the party yesterday. But then I got kinda sick. So I was like, don't come pick me up, I think I'm sick. And as the day goes by, uh I wasn't sick anymore somehow. I was like, what? But I was like sneezing like a crazy maniac. So I got to cancel my plans to actually do nothing. But freaking sucks. I just realized I should have just went there and probably have a nap there at my friend's place because they were they went into a shack and of course they wanted me to be there if I'm not there the party isn't fun this is how it works right well I don't want to brag but 
most of the time this desired fails anyway. <laughs> My friend watching will be like, what the fuck? It's not true. Yeah, of course it's not true. But it's always funny, I have a my friends and um, ah, a new follow Wolf Tangyan. Thank you for the follow, Wolf Tangyan. Welcome to the stream. Come here to enjoy my sleep drawing and sleep chat. I got like friends and parents. Like when they meet my friends and they are telling stuff about me, I don't know what they are really telling, but it's always like funny when like you, you present yourself you know because I'm a polite person I'm like hello I'm David and they are like oh you're David and like uh oh what did they say what did they told you so I'm not afraid to do shit I'm not afraid like to when it's time to have fun, it's time to have fun. When it's not time to have fun, and I can be, yeah, I'm serious. I mean, everybody can is like that in a way. And when you go at school and you're like, always making jokes and the teacher is like, it's not the time for this. I freaking hate school. I'm glad I don't have to go to school anymore. I didn't enjoy going to school any fucking bits. Like my artistic freedom was taking away every time. Just kidding. I wasn't that much into Pokemon when I was like younger. I became way more addicted into Pokemon. As I became a young adult. Well, like around 14, I should say actually. Like Pokemon Emerald was like my first. The first time I finished a Pokemon game, I should say. Not my first Pokemon experience. I had Pokemon Stadium, but you know, I was like, it's Pokemon, it's fine. But then I touched like games there and there. It's always time for jokes. No, it's not. At a funeral, it's not the time for jokes. In the memory of Uncle Jerry, Jerry will be missed. But it doesn't matter, he's a fuckface. Like, whoa! You don't want that at a funeral. Mr. Bear said that he wants his funeral to be kind of a joke. Like people selling tickets to be inside the funeral. Like shirts. You know, with like stuff like I've been to Matthew's funeral. It's like, hi, Ego. Ergonomic. How's it going? Welcome to my small little stream. I had really nothing else to do today, uh, well I mean, I went out for a long time, I think I went out till 10, we were, down, we were out for 3 hours. We had a coffee, we had an Italian cafe, it's very good. I played Octopath a bit, no I'm fine, yeah thank you, I'm fine too. I restarted to play Octopath Traveler again. The thing is, like, it's the kind of game uh, I play an hour or 45 minutes, then I have to stop because the repetition is always a bit too much for me. Hola! Hey there, Wolf Ting. Thank you for the follow again. This music makes my stream look kind of boring. There's a thing I like to do that 
a lot of people don't really understand it, but I find it so freaking cool to do. It's drawing pumpkin faces. Uh, I don't like the traditional way anymore. So for example, I always do it my first instinct now that I'm, every time I draw a pumpkin. Let's say this is a pumpkin. I will always try to find a way to make them look like cute or something. So I will go like with an eye here, an eye here, and I'm like... Pumpkin! You know? This is the pumpkin face I like to do. We're like Something like around those lines. And just like... Pumpkin! You know, I, I did my pumpkin like those uh, last year. Instead of Inktober last year, I did like a pixel challenge for myself. I did like a, a 48 by 48 canvas, 48 pixel, and I drew some pumpkins. Well, I'll show you actually, why not? I'll put the Be Right Back screen, go and fetch it. And I want people to see my other artworks. October. Uh, there we have it. And there we go. I have a lot to share today. So these are all the pumpkin faces I did last year instead. So like, I think I stopped after 25. I didn't have any other ID. So you see like here, like this one here. The one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I took the five and did a pumpkin like that. That was like my, my Inktober challenge in parentheses. But I know it wouldn't be really like popular, so I didn't really post them. KK really liked uh, the number 22. I had a follower that used the pumpkin number 25, 24, and use it as like his profile pic. I'm like, yeah, why not? So I'll leave them there, like press pause if you want to check it out more for yourself. And if you get inspired by a pumpkin face and you do a pumpkin face like these, please share it with me. It's always cool when somebody like I don't know if you guys know Platoon uh, on Twitter. Like he, he really he's really into one of my character, uh, Dan the Gator. He's really into it, so like I'll, it's funny when he tweets me. Like oh, I really like this character. I'm like, oh good. <laughs> he's a silly butt. There's a lot of silly butt following me. It's great. I do have plans with this character in the near future. Like I always think I have more time than I think to do Halloween stuff in October, but then in the end it's like I get caught up because stuff. The 1921 and 23 look very cool. Thank you. Well awesome, you said. I wanted to make like change my profile for a um, one pumpkin face, but then in the end people started to not recognize me because I was changing. I was changing like a profile picture every day, so it became awkward. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll just keep it like that. I hope they will do more like pump, like Halloween related Pokemon somehow. When I the first time I played um, Pokemon Y, no, it's X. The first time I played Pokemon X, I saw like a bit the Pokemon they were having, and I made myself like an Halloween team. I was like, no regrets. It's something I would like to do again. All the way in team. But it's kind of late now. I don't really have the time to start like emulating a Pokemon game just to do a team. I have so much in my mind. I have comics to do, stream to do. Uh, Skyrim to do. <laughs> well, I finished Skyrim. You can go and watch it if you feel like it. It 
Such a silly run too. I put everything in the green section. So I have to sneak, I have to... And then when I was doing the run I realized that this perks for um, beating the shit out of people with my fist. So I was like, yes! That's another run I wanted to do. That's Karim fist run. So like basically I did two run in one run. Which I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy with it. It's so silly and stupid. And as you go along, I get stronger and... Like... When I punch and kill something or somebody... They just ragdoll and fly, a bit like the false Rhoda, so like it's just... Make it even stupider. Oh uh, yeah, there's something wrong with my eyes there. Guess it's time to cheat. It's time to draw eyes like sometimes, it's always like... Now I'm a skill artist, it's fine, I'm not finding some cheap way to do the mirrored stuff. That's not me at all. I've been thinking, I don't know if I should do it or not. But like doing a marathon of uh, of watching like ghost and scary video with like my audiences. Or just like take creepy video that people think are creepy and just like record my reactions. I've seen some creepy shit on YouTube. Top 5 of ghosts seen on camera and I'm like, ah oh, fuck yes. Wait, I'm alone? It's dark? This apartment is empty? Yeah, you know what, it's time for me to watch some creepy shit. And then I don't sleep. I think I already told that story, like... Um, I kinda did the same thing <laughs> with Amnesia, when Amnesia was like such a big hit and stuff. And... Well, I bought the game, but I bought it on special or something. And it was like the summer when uh, my mom and my stepfather were like, uh, we need somebody to watch over the house where we are away. Do you mind if you do it? I'm like, sure. Like, keep in mind that this house is in the wood. It's pretty, like, not far in the wood, but when it's dark, it gets super dark. And that was one of the scary night. And I was like, this put me in the mood to play Amnesia. Like keep in mind also that it was that were, there were strong winds and it was raining. And a bit of a thunderstorm too. What? Foolish was I. A foolish. Got fucking scared, man. I, I played like maybe 30 seconds. Like, without spoiling anything from Amnesia, I think at this point everybody knows what Amnesia is. Uh, the first thing when you wake up is you walk a bit, and then there's like a gust of wind that opened the door. And I was like, nope, that's it, got to go, and this is where I stopped playing the game. I didn't sleep that night. <laughs> Just <laughs> like a freaking wuss, I am. There are some scary stuff that I'm like, oh, fuck yes, it's cool. Some that I just can't deal with.
And that was one of the examples. Because you just put in your mind that this is a scary game and you will get scared. And guess what? I got scared. It makes it worse. By browsing on my old files, my old drawings, I realized I haven't drew Pat in like two months. The last time I drew him was like in August, and I don't believe it was for comic. And I know it's like people's favorite character from my comics, as I remember. Well, it's kind of normal because it's also one of my main. I mean, the comic started with him. Like my comics idea, the pokey characters. <laughs> me, I have a brave board, dumb slime shot. Nope, <laughs> it's basically me too. <laughs> you know, I like to believe ghosts exist. Um, there are some stuff that you can't explain. Like yesterday I posted a tweet that I was stupid because I watch too many ghost video and I can't sleep now. I had a nightmare yesterday and I legit asked uh, Mr. Bear if like I woke him up and asked him if we could go to the washroom with me. That's how scared I was. Because there's something in dreams and nightmare that make it feel so real sometimes. I remember having nightmare and waking up and be like, wow, that was so fucking scary. I should take notes and just write a story about it. And then when you try to explain it to somebody, it doesn't work. You know, you're not scared. Like I, will, I remember one of the nightmare I had, I had this scary as shit. It's like a book and it says, if you, if you open the book and you see a blue skull on it, then that's mean you're gonna have uh you're gonna see like the ghost of the lady whatever i don't remember very clearly so like you start with my brother he opens the book he doesn't see a blue skull he pass it to another person he doesn't see a blue skull and then he pass it to me i open it see the blue skull close it open it again the blue skull is there close it open it and then the blue skull is still there and I raise my head and there's like just this jump scare of like this lady ghost that just like comes to me and then just like scared the shit out and I woke up like <gasps> that was poopy and I was like oh shit that was great there was a time where I really enjoyed being scared and I was like oh man I hope I'll get my ass eaten by a fucking werewolf and nope not anymore I'm getting old Living in another ten house is not fun. I know from experience. Ah, oh, me too. Last stream I talked about... Uh, I was like in a old house and... There was some stuff going there. I don't feel like talking to it again because it will just kill the purpose of the stream. But if you go to my YouTube channel and seek out the... The stream I did... Uh, yesterday? Or two days ago you'll hear like my full story I don't want to be called superstitious or anything like oh you believe in ghosts? I had my experiences for me to make me believe in ghosts, so I guess yes. I mean, when you watch video, it's like, ha. Huh. I don't think that's true. And then when you, you watch a video and you had similar experiences, you're like, oh, fuck. Luckily for me, it wasn't a bad spirit. I would like to say that like that. It wasn't a bad spirit. 
it just felt like I was never alone in that house. It just how it felt. And sometimes I will hear banging from the attic and that's it. You know, it was like, Georgette, please stop. I'm tired and she will stop. It was a very friendly spirit. I must admit, drawing on stream and drawing comics really pushes me to do uh, more um, perspective stuff and it trains me more. This is what I would like to say. You don't want your comic to look all the same. This is how I see it. So I try to vary a lot with my poses and the way I'm drawing stuff. And it's the same with commission. I like to vary a lot with the poses, the dynamic of the picture. I find like if you want to make your comic look more interesting or like more pleasing to the eyes you have certain rule you have to follow and sometimes it's fun to just like fuck the rules and then you do your own thing so it makes you more original <laughs> that's the thing why i don't take uh, comic commissions anymore uh, i remember a dude i wish i could tell him his name but he was like hey you want to do a comic I was like, yes. Okay, well, I have this ID. Uh, do this with that character and there's the money. Okay, but what do you want me to do? Oh, you know what you have to do. I trust you. Okay. And he was, all, he was never disappointed. But then I had like this experience with a dude. Uh, basically, everything I've learned from myself, like the principle... The little like the thing that make me like when you look at an artwork and you're like oh this is that intro you know that thing he was like fuck all of this do it like this instead i understand that i was charging a lot because comic is very like it takes a lot of your time to do oh fuck it takes a lot of your time and he really wanted me to do like a comic that is like a shaded it's full color full background full everything but he was busting me a lot and not only that like he was paying with one of his friends so basically it was like oh that's look pretty good let me tell my friend okay when's your friend coming back from work because if i have like three hours to work on it and i don't have any confirmation then it's three hours lost. You, you understand the logic behind it? I hope so. So basically I was just like working a bit, doing some sketches, and then wait for him to send it to his friend so he can confirm it so I can work on it. And it was like terrible. A project that was supposed to take me a week to do took me actually a month because of that. And I, it was getting me so frustrated and mad. After that, I was like, you know what, making comics like this, never again. And it, it's not, it's not really worth it. It takes so much time. And people get so bussy, and I understand why I'm not saying like, oh, they should have bust me. They spend so much money on this. Of course they're gonna talk about it. They gotta be like, I want it this way, this way. Again, it's not against anybody. It's just like, in the end, it's a big waste of time for me. <laughs> Dragonite Pat has a beautiful hat.
much relaxing music. The thing is, I download so much music. Well, download. I mean, I have Spotify. So basically, I save all the albums I, I'm discovering. So it's fun. But I feel like I've been to a circle now. Everything they are showing me, I'm like, eh, not today. Even life form right now. Uh, I think the album is like, yeah. It's like, this is the last song. I'll wait after. Man, I spent so much money lately. Not very proud. I spent money on candies and stuff. And I'm hungry. I'm gonna munch on some breadstick. Hmm. Crunchy, crunchy. Dead and throw SMR. I don't understand that. You know when you see like the most satisfying videos and then it's basically just somebody cutting through an eraser or something. And I'm like, what why? What what's what is satisfying about it? You're not doing it, you're watching it. It's not satisfying. This is how I see it. Okay? If you don't believe it, fuck it. No, just kidding. Still, like, I don't understand. You get thousands of views and people are like, oh yeah, it's so satisfying. No, I feel like the satisfaction is when you finish something and when you do it. I mean, satisfaction is like a feeling. I feel satisfied, you know? I don't know. Boop. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? There's an album I want to revisit. Let's do that. Let's revisit this album. It sounds like Kirby music. What was the name though? <laughs> Shit. I think it was around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh yeah, there's a game I would like to play on Let's Play is the fuck is it called? The ghost of a shit. Well anyway, you're like a mouse. And that's such a great explanation that intro. Like good job, David. Good job. Clap it up for me, bro. Let me check it out. Get sewing game. Ghost of a tail. This is what I want to do. This is gonna be the next let's play. I'm gonna probably the day I'm gonna record it for that. I'm probably gonna post one and see the reaction of the people. See if I like it too first. Like I don't play much game to be honest. If I have the option not to play games, I probably won't. But there's so much thing to discover from games and recording them are just make me like more accomplished and makes me want to finish the game because sometimes I just play a game and I'm like okay I'm done even though the game is like all finished and if I'm like oh it's for my YouTube let's go I can do it <laughs> don't patronize me Mr. Zero Things Dude. 
Do 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 The ghost of a tail. Like it sounds like the tail is going and you like Like if you just like check out the title real quick think about the ghost of a tail which mean it's probably like a character you don't that play a role into the like the story but it's you don't see him maybe like, I know it's like kind of a stealth game so I don't know hmm crunchy let's take a look at the inking do we like or do we hate no, you're right, let's just do it down. I'm just kidding. I like it. Well, maybe... Yeah, and the only thing I had is like just... Curry on the pants. Like... I really made him to be big. That a lot of people are like, oh, and they don't really like big people. And I'm like, yeah, but take a look at Dragon Knight for real. Take a close look at him. And tell me you don't share the same vision as I do. I got me wrong. People think whatever. Like, I mean, I find it funny to drive big because, like, this situation I can do. Yeah, that's about it, really. It's more for a comedic point of view. Boop. You know, but then, Andrew, where are the colors? Here! All the colors! Whoops. Control Shift E. One pixel and then boop. There you go. Ah, shit. Whoops. There you go. It makes me happy to drop Pat again, really. I think it's one of my most worked character. In the sense that his story is more developed than any other person's stories. In my crew, I mean. Well, I mean... Torterra, Mitch has his backstory too. Well, I mean, not yet. I wanted to do like a kind of a ch ch children book kind of vibe to it. Because I kind of want like this character to tell his story through images. Since like he, he doesn't speak because he's too shy. This is my vision. Like sometimes I, I want to explain my thought process, but as I'm doing it, it doesn't make any sense for people. <laughs> the great Cerberus, great King Cerberus. Hello, welcome. Dragonite. Yeah, if I got like a dollar every time Somebody was like, can I hug the character you drew? I think I'd be a freaking millionaire by now. Hello again.
Just a relaxing time on this Sunday. One high is like... And reward the eye. Do you hug most of my character? Yeah, I heard that every time. It's so silly. I mean, I must admit, I drew I drew a lot of Ogable characters. Let's just admit it. It's out there. I said it. My problem now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Breaking out too much. Dragonite likes to wear summer jeans. So I'm gonna do some jeans. Is the future in the future I was thinking of becoming a mute because of most of the word stupidity? Eh, would it really change anything? Are you one of those uh, uh, transable people? Is it all they are called? People that like perpetrate like they, they get themselves like a disability because it's their choices, so they purposely become blind. And they purposely like break their legs or something. I don't know, like it, it sounds too weird. Learning sign language was actually something I wanted to learn and do. Just for our personal experiences, really. <laughs> but I realized I have nobody to talk with with the sign language. I'm like, well. Uh, that wouldn't be a good practice. So I felt it would be the kind of thing I would have learned and never practiced. So I will just forget about it. So I decided to just back back away from that. Pumpkin face, pumpkin face. Sure, I like this color on him. Yellow-ish. I'm gonna stay like in the more orange. -ish. Let's make a pumpkin face. Like I want a knight to be here, and a knight to be here, and then make perfect. Mouth. Yes. Put one high here. Probably one here. It look unusual. Oh, I love it. Did 
Pumpkin face. Lately, I can't stop thinking about Catwoman uh, basket scene when they play basketball and you're like, what the fuck? Am I the only one? I can't be, like, the basketball scene is just so weird. It sounds very stupid, but like... Why do I have that in my mind? I don't know. Like, why? Who, who thought it was a good idea to make this scene in the movie? Mr. Bear? Yeah, yeah it's Mr. Bear. He back. Uh, my phone number? Yeah, I'm gonna use your phone number to use your secretary if you don't mind. Mm. It's just to take an address and a name and when they want me to go by. Oh. If, if you're okay with that. Well, uh, I don't know. You can always speak French to it. Okay, well, yeah, I'll do it. If he's only speaking French, yeah. He's just up the street, it's just. He asked if I could do his screen, so it's like, yeah, sure. You remember my number? I don't say it all loud. I have it in my phone, I was gonna say. Okay, good. I don't, I don't even remember my number. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's a curse now. It is a curse. Speed that up, curse us all. Like... Ask somebody on the street. Can you, like, tell me five phone numbers? I only remember the phone numbers from, like, my friends from high school. Don't ask me why, because when I was going to high school, Cell phones were just coming out. Yeah. So we still had to memorize all our, our phone numbers. When I was a kid, I was like, I remember my grandparents' cell phone, but not phone. I remember my mom's phone. I remember my father's phone. I remember this and that. And now I'm like, what's my what's my dad's phone number? I will never remember September. Should I make a nose? I remember, like, when I was in high school, it was my third year in high school when he came out with the first flip phone. And everyone was like, holy shit, it's a, this is amazing! Flip phone! Oh yeah. Flip phone, oh my god, the flip phone was like, the shit. Everybody went bazonkers for that. Bazonkers. Bazonkers. That's, that's Bazinga. Do -ba -do 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 -do. How does it look? Pumpkin enough? Business cards. Yeah, well, I mean, I used to have uh, my own business before. I used to never went around taking business cards, but I sold it before I went to you are so right. Just kidding, I have no idea what you're talking. I put the voodoo doll on my windshield there. Yeah? My uh, rear view mirror. It's like, it's like so cool. People always look at it. I'm glad you enjoyed that. That's another thing we bought in the store. Let me look too distant. Bring it closer. 
There we go. And then cover the void. Hey, it looks good. I personally like it. Okay. <laughs> you ain't close. The professor O doesn't know shit. What time is it now? It's almost four. Yeah, I'm gonna start barbecuing soon. Barbecuing? Chicken legs? No, uh, steaks. Ooh, steaks. Last steaks of the year. Last steaks. Last barbecue of the year. That makes me kinda sad, because I really like barbecue. <laughs> I always remember this picture of like this dude was super proud of his barbecue skills and then like everything was super burned so it was just a bone a bone and like some black like cal calcinated like meat it was just like let's do it like it was just the bone like this and then just like a bit of black thing on the like you know and then you can see the rest of the bone and it was like man I'm so good at barbecuing it's like shit man you just you don't know how to cook shit man Cooking and barbecue is an art, okay? Like, it's an art. Even charcoal is even better because, like, depending on what kind of charcoal you put. Like. Okay. What's going on, Mr. Bear? Yeah? Well, I know. It's a big N O N. It's a big N O N. No. Also want to cut the pumpkins? Let me make squash fries with like the one we have. Uh, this is what we wanted to do, right? Right. I was trying to remember what we were doing. Well, I mean, I remember. That's what matters. September. Make it spoopy. My pumpkin fries tonight.
Isn't he a cute boy? I think he's a cute boy. That is a good boy. No one can deny that. Then you reduce the opacity by a bit. And there you go. You got a pumpkin pet! And I'm basically done streaming. Like, <laughs> it's a quick stream, I suppose. One hour. I don't like streaming for more than three hours, honestly. It's so much work. That bitch and we're done thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed I'm going to make myself something to eat because I'm hungry and I'll see you in another video or stream or whatever the fuck you're doing bye